Hello everybody, it's me again, and uh, I have Minecraft Beta 1.9 pre-release too. But no, I definitely do not want to talk about this. There is far too much to cover, and quite honestly, there are a lot of very, very amazing videos out there. Um, if you want to check it out, you can do so by yourself, or you can actually uh, check out the videos by Blue Xephas and Kept on Sparkles. Both of them did a very good or, or both of them did a very good job reviewing that. So, the thing I actually wanted to talk about is that I like to play online. And I also like to play offline and get to know, you know, the newest stuff in Minecraft. Now, before I actually had to go back, I had to go into my folder, rename all the files and stuff. And I thought, well, how about having a file or a program that would actually do that for yourself? And I know that there is a program out there, but I just wasn't really convinced. And um, I was very concerned about my privacy and about my account, so I actually wrote one myself. And um, so there you go. That is Minecraft Beta 1.9. As you know, uh, the current version is 181, and I want to play this. So as you can see, there is a little file here called Upgrade Downgrade. Now, if I double click on that, let me actually put that in this. Okay, you should be able to see it. So as you can see, Minecraft Converter, uh, it converts between 181 and 1.9 uh, pre-release 2, and my current is 1.9 pre-release 2, or 182, and, um, well, I'm German, as you can see, it just says press a key, and if I do that, I can either upgrade or downgrade. Now, if I actually choose to upgrade, it will actually give, my, give me an error, um, because it is already upgraded to the maximum. But later on, maybe if I decide to have like other versions of it, um, I can actually go back to like 173 or something. So that's why this is actually there. So I actually want to uh, downgrade it. So I just type in zero. And what it says is downgrade activated. Will be downgraded from 19 uh, pre 2 to 181. And again, I'm just going to press a key. And process successful we hope and that's basically it now as you can see if I actually go back it should say 181 and I'm just gonna show you again there we go and as you can see current 181 and uh, that's actually what it is in Minecraft as well let me just actually go into Minecraft so that you guys can actually see that I'm not just joking with you, it's actually 181, so let's actually minimize this again, and you may be able to see the middle Minecraft Beta 181, so I can actually um, play multiplayer now, which is actually pretty cool. And all I have to do is, well, go to this little program, uh, now I can actually upgrade it again, and that is it, that is it. So, just have a little glance at the code. Um, now the file itself is in the Minecraft folder, um, and this is just a shortcut, but let's actually get this so that you guys can see. I don't exactly know where my area is, so I'm just going to show you. So you can see here I'm turning everything off, and then um, I'm labeling it start. This is just the test. Uh, and this is basically if Minecraft 192 exists, um, it should tell me that it's 181, because obviously you need to have uh, just the normal Minecraft jar to play. And uh, I've made it so that, um, for example, if I downgrade to 181, it will rename um, the current one, which has got to be 192, to something else. And uh, just for simplicity's sakes, I've, gonna, I've named it Minecraft 192, and uh, 181 is supposed to be renamed into the normal file that you need to play. And uh, that's basically it. And this is the other way around. Again, um, the file you play with is then 181. It should be renamed into something else. And the 192 file should be re renamed into the file that you're playing with. I hope that is that you understand this. I know I'm not very good at explaining. But basically, at the end, it just jumps to end. And it just says process successful, we hope. And here, it just basically decides uh, if you put 1, then you want to upgrade, if you set 0, uh, you want to downgrade, and if you put like 3 or something, uh, it's not a valid input, and it basically just skips to the end and closes itself. 
So yeah, that's the code, and uh, that's just something I made because I wanted to play multiple versions, uh, and I didn't want to go back and like rename everything. I guess you could actually have multiple files with mods installed and stuff, and you can actually use that to jump between mods very easily as well, which um, has a lot of potential. It's not uh, the fullest thing. But, so yeah, I hope that was, um, well, enjoyable, and um, that, that would will actually help you as well. And uh, I will link the Minecraft pre-release, or the 1.9 pre-release 2 in the description. And uh, if you have enjoyed this video, I would be very happy if you could take half a second to leave a rating or a comment or both. And so, until next time.